continuing in the spirit of quiet. Taking the time to become aware of all that we have heard, read, and continue to hear. Let's focus upon steadiness, stillness, being in peace, being in peace, being comfortable. Inside ourselves, so as you study Patanjali, the second part, Sutra number forty-five, talks about Samadhi, Siddhi. Ishwara Pranidhan. Coming to a place of Samadhi. Deep in the stillness, through Ishwar Pranidhana, surrender to the Divine, humility. Letting go of the control, the eyeness, the place of deep stillness. So for each one of us, Not just this morning, not just right now. Each day, every day, take time throughout the day, come back to center, breathe, inhalation, exhalation. Letting go as you breathe out, expanding as you breathe in, focus purpose of the day, purpose of the action. Focusing upon the karma that is being done and the outcome it will have, not just upon us, not just within us, but around us. all of those whom we come in contact with. A deep stillness, surrendering, surrendering to that 
divine power. So ground yourself as you sit on the seat you are on, whether on the floor or on the chair. Be comfortable in your asana, in your posture, position in life. Breathe from the diaphragm, from the navel, from the abdomen. Exhale. Letting go. Allowing yourself to just... Just like sometimes you go, ah, you let go of a sigh. So each day, every day, whenever you sit throughout the day, We take a lot in, a lot happens. The mind imagines, the mind creates, the mind stores. So in the way the sages talk about it, it's just illusion to let go. So as you exhale, as you breathe out, let go. As you inhale, take the breath in, Expand the awareness. Don't worry about anyone or anything else. Just focus upon yourself and what is going on in your own being. Sitting still, being quiet. Let us all work upon this, no matter where we are in the world. Rather than being agitated and agitating others, Let us be at peace. Let us be in Samadhi, a deep stillness. Let us accept Ishwara Pranidhana, surrender to the Divine. Letting go of the control of I. Becoming aware of the manipulation the mind does. Not being open to the flow that is life. And often as we continue, we feel that we are not stubborn, we feel that we are flowing with life and accepting 
Start to observe your own behavior, your own thought process, your own speech. And become aware and conscious of how manipulative each one of us is to the outcome of the situation that we would like to have. So then where is the Ishwara Pranidhana or the surrender to the Divine? If we are so caught up in the outcome that the mind, the ego wants. It is simply a statement we make that I am completely surrendered to the Divine as long as it is how I want it. Think of these two words, acceptance and patience. Very simple words. It is not that the other person may not be aware of the manipulation is simply that they choose not to get involved because they have at some level understood Ishwa, Pranidhana, surrender to the Divine. So each one of us, no matter what stage and where we are in life, Let us work on the deep stillness, the samadhi. Think of the footsteps and the noise you make in your own movement. Think how loud your alarm Maybe that everyone else hears it but you. Think how loud the ringer of your phone may be because you want to hear it, but everyone else hears it. All this keeps away, keeps us away from the experience of that deep stillness. How much we talk, how much we think, how much we move. So in Patanjali talks about sthiram, steadiness. Don't laugh it off. Don't just blow it away. Ask yourself, how steady am I? In Hatha Yoga, there are asanas, postures. To check the steadiness. to hold the stillness. To become aware of how much movement is being performed by each one of us. So let us ask ourselves, we say, I am surrendered, I am in stillness. Do you react to a situation? 
or do you not? Not just externally, but within yourself. Or have you actually surrendered? Are you able to actually let go and accept? Think about the arrogance, the ego, the pride, all of these things we operate from. We say we are surrendered. We say we believe in the grace. Or do we really accept life and how it unfolds? Begin to focus upon the situations you create. Situations you imagine. situations you find yourself in. And a new word this week, spiritual bypass. Still have to understand it. But it's wonderful because there are thoughts that come as you study, as you ponder, as you contemplate. And then you read someone sharing something. And you begin to realize that yes, so many of us, in the name of transcendence, in the name of one, do so much. So are we really Transcended? Have we really surrendered? It's almost 50 years for some of association with Baba Muktananda, with the Siddha Path. We have all the jargon, we have all the lingo, the vocabulary. Question is, can I just sit and be still? Can I feel the pulsating consciousness? Patanjali says, all of the yamas and niyamas that are discussed bring us to this sutra, Ishwara, Pranidhana, Samadhi, Siddhi, Ishwara, Pranidhana. A deep stillness. But for this, all of the yamas and niyamas need to become a part of you, beginning with ahimsa, non-violence. 
So all of those things, some are for the outside activities of life. Some are how I should be within myself, my own company. We are like the internet. For the last couple of months, I'm told that satsangs out of Walden are intermittent. You lose a verse, you lose a word, you lose the end. So one tries to imagine what was said or what was sung, what was happening. The flow is broken. They have looked into what could be the cause. They are not able to find it. Technically everything is okay. But yet we know there is an issue. The Shiva Sutra says, Tishu Chaturtam Tailavada Sechyam. The state of Tudhya, the fourth state of meditation, should flow uninterrupted into the other three states deep sleep, dream, waking. Operating in these states of waking, dream and deep sleep, the connection, contact to that consciousness must not be interrupted. It should be incessant, continuous. So each one of us needs to find out why do I have a break in my connection. And I'm sure that we know if we want to. We know when we are manipulative, we know when we are aggressive. We know when we are angry, we know when we are upset. We know when we imagine. We can fool the world, but we cannot fool ourselves. As a seeker, wake up. Scriptures tell us, wake up. Uthishtata. Jagadata. Awaken. Awaken to the illusion, the ignorance, the game, the play. The manipulation. Come to Samadhi, Siddhi, Ishwara Parina. So focus, concentrate. Become absorbed. Allow yourself to become focused, to concentrate, to become absorbed. Conscious this. Consciousness is present, is here, is now. If 
feel it. Nobody stops you. Nothing stops you. Each one of us stops ourselves. Go inside. Try and find the heart space, space of love, kindness, compassion, truth. Step out aside from your own egocentric, manipulative thought process, mind. Smile. Let it come from inside, within. Because you feel the joy, you feel the love, you feel that presence. Breathe. Let go. So over these next two months, as you come, come prepared. So that means each day, every day, every moment, from the time you are here in satsang, till the time you come back, this effort of connecting, stepping out of the manipulation of the game, of the egocentric mind, becoming aware of Ishvara Pranidhana, surrender to the Divine. Samadhi, a deep stillness. Cannot just happen in a few moments on a Sunday morning. It is a constant effort that you will put forth every moment, everywhere that you go, everything that you do. Every word you speak, every action you perform, every bite of food that you put inside yourself. Become conscious what is going on. Wake up. I think it's easy for all of us to just follow the cloud. That's the easiest. To step out, step aside, and move aside. So let go, surrender, Let us make a promise to ourselves that there will be a great movement in myself. It will not just be an imagination, it will not just be an idea. You don't have to go around asking anyone, have I moved? You will know yourself. Your activity, your behavior, your conversation, your movement. All of this will begin to show. But the very first necessity is willingness. You will say, I am. And I will say, you are not.
Because as long as you imagine that I am,
land with 11 rounds of O in B flat, followed by a mantra of oneness from the Rig Veda by pair of peace in the ocean. Shri Ganeshaya Namaha, Shri Gurubhyo Namaha, Hari Om, Sam Samidhyo Vase Vishandagne Vishwanevya, Ilaspade Samidhyase Sano Vasunyabhara, Sam Gachadvam, Sam Vadadvam, Sam Vo Manam Sijanatam Deva Bhagam Yatha Purve Sanjana Upasate Samano Mantra Samiti Samani Samanam Mana Sahachitta Mesham Samanam Mana Bhavimantra eva samane navo havisha juhomi samane va akuti samana hridayani vaha samana vastu omano yata sahasa sati hari om Dyao Shanti Randa Rikshagum Shanti Hi Pridhivi Shanti Apaha Shanti Okadayaha Shanti Hi Vanaspatayaha Shanti Vishwedevaha Shanti Brahma Shanti Sarvagam Shanti 
शांतिवेव शांति सांतिवेदि यतो यता समी हसे तथो न अभयंकुर शन्ना कुर प्रजाभ्यो भय न पशुभ्य ओ शांति 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 सुशातिर्भवत सर्वादिष्टसोपद्रव शातिरस्तु ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्ण पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य शाति शाति शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाषद वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरात्मे मूर्ति विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओ नम पार्वती पद हर 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 महा सदगुरुना कहना